So excellent, at this point our REST API is properly secured and utilizing the JWT access tokens. But depending on our needs, you may want to introduce the JWT refresh tokens to the system. So that's what this video will be about. Firstly, let's introduce a new endpoint and let's start everything by token response. So let's navigate to controller, let's find the off and right here let's add the token response class token response and this one should be a data class i'm sorry will contain only one field token well token of string type following let's add the necessary changes to authentication response right now it returns only access token but it should return both access token and refresh token later so well refresh token and this will be string type Lastly, let's add the refresh token request, which will be used to deserialize refresh tokens sent by a user. So again, new Kotlin class slash file data class, and let's call it refresh token request. Refresh token request. Right here, val token and string value as usual. So at this point, let's go to our off controller and let's add a new endpoint. This will be again post endpoint post mapping slash refresh. So whenever you hit post to slash API of refresh, you will reach to this handler. And I would like to take the refresh token request as a parameter, return the token response based on the logic that will be handled by authentication service. So let's start by fun refresh access token request body request and this should be refresh token request as a response token response equals authentication service refresh access token and i would like to simply provide a string value from our request excellent and i'll expect this function to return a string value which we will map to token response map to token response let's go this way private fun string map to token response token response equals token response token equals simply this because this is a string value already if we won't be able to refresh the token, we should throw the forbidden. So throw response status exception HTTP status forbidden and the message invalid refresh token. Excellent. Let's hit Alt plus Enter, create a member function, which will return, as I mentioned previously, the string value. To do not yet implemented, don't worry. First, let's implement a refresh token repository. This class will be responsible for persisting and retrieving refresh tokens. So let's go to repository, new Kotlin class, refresh token repository. Excellent. Let's mark that as repository. And again, we will not be connecting to any database, we will simply use a mutable map. So private val tokens equals mutable map of, and as a type, I would like to keep string value and user details. But what is this about? So we'll keep the reference, we'll keep our um, refresh tokens and a user details to which they match so that later we'll be able to uh, check whether the user matches. Nevertheless, let's implement and later I'll show you by example how it worked. Fun, find user details by token. I would like to provide the token, which will be a string value, and return the user details. Right, but they can or cannot be found. So let's use tokens and provide the token value. Additionally, the second method will be responsible for simply persisting the value inside. Uh, this map so fun save token which will be a string value and user details which we will pass along with it 
right here, we'll have our tokens and put under the token key the user details, control plus alt L, and basically that's all for this repository. So along with our tokens, we will store the associated user details instances so that later we could match the associated subject email with the token. Following, let's get back to our authentication service. We will need to inject refresh token repository, uh, generate refresh token, and implement our function. So let me get back to it. We can see that this doesn't work. So as I mentioned, the first thing, let's inject refresh token repository. Private vol refresh token repository. Wonderful. The next thing I would like to do will be generate refresh token, right? Val refresh token equals token service generate and right here user details equals user expiration date will be date system current time release plus JWT properties refresh token expiration. When we have this refresh token generated, simply let's put it to the authentication response. Refresh token. Wonderful. So just like we did with access token, we did with refresh token. Uh, to make it better, we could select this, Control Alt plus M, and extract to other function like generate access token. Similarly, you can select this control plus alt plus m generate refresh token user. A bit more readable code, right? Nevertheless, let's get back to our function called refresh access token. So what we must do here. Firstly, I would like to extract the email from our token. If it will not be null, then we'll handle the following logic, but let's start with what I said, extract the email. To do so, let's use the token service. So extracted email equals token service, extract email from the token, right? Again, this may be null, so return extracted email, let right here, and specify the explicitly named argument to our let function, which will be, again, invoked only if the extracted email is not null. Firstly, I would like to load current user details and obtain the refresh token user details. You will see why in a moment. So, firstly, current user details equals user details service, which will use our user repository, load by username, and specify the email. Secondly, let's check the refresh token user details. Val refresh, refresh token user details equals refresh token repository, find user details by token, and let's invoke token. Excellent. Now I would like to check whether the token is not expired, I mean the refresh token, and additionally, whether the current user details match the refresh token user details. For example, this is the uh, case when someone updated the email and the refresh token is still referring to the old email, right? This way, he should not be able to get new access token. If token service is expired and let's forward the token, and additionally, current user details, username equals refresh token user details. This is nullable username. And only if this is true, then we can generate access token based on the refresh token, right? Generate access token and user current, sorry, current user details. Wonderful. Otherwise, if this is not true, we should return null, and this will be handled by our method in the controller, right? What we can do now? Simply rerun the application. Wonderful. And open up Postman. So firstly, this user does not exist anymore because this is our list, which is in memory and refreshes every time we rerun our application. So firstly, I will use pass one. 
and email probably one right excellent we can see that right now we got the access token and the refresh token so following let's add a new endpoint of control c control plus v refresh token excellent and slash refresh and in order to get a new token we should take our refresh token from here and specify that as the token value token let me get rid of these all values okay so we got 403 forbidden and i have the suspicion what happened here so let's get back to intellij and fix one thing okay let's open up authentication service and we forgot to do one thing although we generate our refresh token right and return that response we forgot to simply persist that in our refresh token repository so we are missing one line refresh token repository save refresh token and user as the user details Control alt l now please let's rerun the application excellent and let's get back to postman right here let's go to off again we need to authenticate get the refresh token copy that value let's go here send excellent we get new access token let's try to use it to get articles list wonderful so as we can see everything is working perfectly and our refresh flow is working as expected